Good morning, Danny. Thanks very much for doing this interview for us. Uh, Danny, you're the coordinator of the Alberta Video Conference Regional Leads Network. I uh, had to read that because it's a long title. Could you explain to us what that really means and what is the Video Conference Regional Leads Network? Absolutely. Um, and thanks for having me here today. Uh, yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a mouthful, definitely, and we sometimes refer to it as the VCRLN, but uh, we'll go back and forth between that and the VC Regional Leads Network. Uh, essentially what the VC Regional Leads Network is, is uh, it was a program that was created by Alberta Education and it's being administered by the To Learn Education Society. And uh, the goal of the VC Regional Leads Network is to uh, enable a video conference enabled learning uh, in kindergarten to grade 12 uh, through the Supernet and video conferencing. Uh, essentially the program is built on uh, tolearn.ca's cascade model where we have a uh, provincial team, I have myself and, and there are a couple others on our provincial team working full time. Uh, as well we have, we work with uh, 26 regional lead teachers from across the seven PD regions in Alberta. Uh, these teachers are typically full time teachers, in some cases they're technology coordinators in their school jurisdictions and they receive specialized training from us as well as release time uh, from their job duties or their classroom uh, to be able to support the teachers in their region. So not only does it uh, create a, you know, a small army of us uh, rather than just provincial team members, but what it, more importantly I think what it does is it uh, these are people who are, you know, the teacher next door. To, to, they're right in school jurisdictions. They're familiar with the teachers they're working with, uh, with the technology system. Uh, to Learn's model has always been one of working complementary with the school jurisdiction and their technology uh, program. And so, you know, having those regional lead teachers across Alberta uh, providing PD support activities has proven to be quite successful uh, thus far. We're in our third year. Uh, we have one additional year of funding and beyond that uh, we'll see what happens. But um, in terms of the types of PD support activities that the teachers, the regional lead teachers as well as the provincial team offers, these types of PD support activities can range broadly from uh, in-servicing where it'll be, the in-servicing can be held face-to-face, -face. it can be held uh, through video conference, uh, there are um, other PD support activities such as um, uh, video conference events that teachers will create. Uh, there'll be one-to-one -one support where sometimes it's, uh, an individual regional lead will come out to a school and work with another teacher. Um, there are several different types of, you know, teachers learn in a variety of different ways and we know that. So it might be a phone call, it might be a, an email, uh, it might be a face-to-face -face workshop, it might be an ongoing series held through video conference or, or something even far less formal, even a phone call. So um, having those regional lead teachers out there in the province is uh, very important to us. Uh, in addition to the PD support activities, the provincial team and so with collaboration from the regional lead teachers, we create a lot of uh, video conference events that teachers and their students from around the province can take part in. These VC events can be uh, curriculum enhancement events where, you know, we, we teachers, we know they're very busy and that uh, the types of events they want to take part in relate directly to the curriculum they're teaching. Uh, these types of events can involve uh, expert guest presenters. In some cases, the events involve uh, student-led presentations. We had a, a Earth Day video conference last week where we had student-led presentations. Students did an area of research, um, prepared something uh, in, in the way of a presentation. In some cases, it was uh, sort of a news broadcast or a game show or in some cases they were explaining an invention they had created. We had a CTS class in Whitminster present a solar powered heater that they had created whereas another class uh, from St. Paul shared a short play and some artwork that they had done. So um, there are student led events, there are expert guest presenters and in other cases the VC events are just for teachers, teacher professional development sessions uh, ranging from anything from technology related to uh, to teaching practices across the different. Uh, finally, I would say our third area that we focus on with the VC Regional Lease Network is we provide some base funding and for for uh, innovative projects that teachers want to create, anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on the number of classes involved. Teacher has a great idea; they may need a little bit of release time or a little bit of funding to pay for some equipment or software or 
or materials related to the project. And so sometimes this base funding can help um, make the difference as to whether these types of projects get off the ground. And it also sets a really exemplar model for the rest of the teachers in the province. So, uh, so yeah, several different ways that the BCRLN uh, does its business, uh, both from PD support activities to the VC events we create, as well as uh, some base funding for, for project work.